Joe Barnes here and this is a bit of an experimental video actually because what I want to do is I want to add a shop front to my fan page. I want to be able to sell my digital products from my actual fan page um, and I haven't actually set it up. I've had a quick look over it um, and uh, but I haven't yet set it up because as I went to start setting it up because I thought I'll set it all up first and then I'll show you. Um, I realized that once I've set it up, I have actually kind of set it up and I want to show you guys how to do it. So I thought this is a bit, you know, risky because it could take ages and I could prove what an absolute numpty I am. Um, but I thought it'd be worth us doing it together. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to put a storefront on our fan page. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the storefront app, which is called Pavement. P-A-Y-V-M-E-N-T, Pavement, e-commerce storefront app. And I'm going to click on that app, okay? Now, I have already created, this is why, you see, because I went on and it said, have you got a Pavement account? And I said, no. And so they said, create one and run it up. So I've already done that, okay? So that's kind of already been done. So when you click on that app, it's just going to take you through a little bit where it says, you know, create an, you know, you name your storefront, I think, call your storefront a name, and don't worry about it because you can rename it at any time in here. Um, and then it says, have you created an account? And you say, no, please create one. And then it says, congratulations, you're now ready to, to go. So here is the storefront. And as you can see, there's nothing on here at the moment. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my storefront to a Facebook page. So I'm going to choose a page. And it's going to be free fan page templates and it's loading and it's going to pull my so I'm going to add pavement e-commerce storefront to my page okay so let's see if we can go and find it now there it is shop now look down there all right so this is my storefront this message can only be seen by the admin of this page to complete the installation click initialize so we're going to click initialize. Remember, guys, I'm doing this with you, okay? I'm totally doing this with you. This message can only be seen. Your storefront is currently set to off. When you're ready to launch your storefront, go to your store settings to turn it on. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to our store settings and see what's there. All right, so here is apparently this is the dashboard, okay? This is the dashboard. Of course, we don't want to turn on the store because there's absolutely nothing on there at the moment. All right. So what I want to do is go to general settings, first of all, within your dashboard. OK, so I've called it Joe Barnes store. Don't really like that. Let's call it Joe Barnes online store. Joe Barnes online store. Currency type is US dollars. Sandbox mode. Apparently, if you turn this on, your store items will not be available for Facebook users to discover via search. So do not turn off sandbox mode if your fanbook page is not publicly accessible. So I would say just leave that off for now. OK. Um, all right. Then we've got the PayPal username. OK, so this is really important. Yeah, because obviously you've got it. This is the PayPal account that's going to get credited for the purchases. And then there's a sales notification um, email address there as well. OK, uh, an IPN listener URL. I've got absolutely no idea what that is. It's a message service that notifies you of sales. Let's not worry about that too much today. And then you can put a little bit about us and you can put some terms and policies as well. So I'm going to put in here full no questions asked 60 day money back guarantee on all Joe Barnes online products okay I'm just going to put that in there as one of my terms and policies um, and I could you know I need to probably put do a bit more there and I'll come back and do that later so I'm going to save that and that's my settings now all saved so let's go over and add a product shall we so here we go add new products so let's go up to add new products okay before adding items to your storefront you will need to set up your store categories okay now there's two ways you can do this you can do this manually or you can do it by a csv bulk import what that means is that you would go off to excel and you'd create all your different products in various fields yeah um, and then you would save your Excel file as a, as a, 
an actual CSV file, a comma delimited tab, I think it is. And then you could import bulk products. So if you had a lot of products that you wanted to put on here, then you could do that. But you know what? These guys have tutorials about every single page. So if you want to know how to use that, just click on CSV bulk import and they'll have a little green watch tutorial button there and they'll show you exactly how to do it. But for today, we're going to do it manually. So I'm going to put click here, click here for, to make my category name and I'm just going to put digital products. I've got absolutely no idea, but that's what I know they are. They're digital products. So let's save that category. Fine. So now let's go and add new products. All right. So I want to add 2000. Oh, two, wow. That would be cool, wouldn't it? In 27 days. Okay. That's the name. Then they're asking for a item's unique ID. It is important that each item has its own unique. Well, I've only got one item, so oh, it's required. Okay, um, let's call it two thousand. That's pretty unique, isn't it? Okay, price with no currency symbols. So the price is forty-seven dollars. Okay, this is if they can order more than one. That's not necessary on mine. And this is if there is sales tax. Okay. And then we need to put a description in of the product. So let me just pause this video a minute while I grab a description. All right, so I've grabbed this on my web page. I have no idea how this is going to look yet, so I may well go and change this. But I've just grabbed sort of the, just one of the descriptions off, my, uh, off one of my web pages here. Yeah, I've just literally copied and pasted that in over, oh, that's not where I want to go, over to here. Okay, so I've, I've added that in. We'll see how that looks. And then there's an option list down here. Now, options could be if you're selling, this is made for physical products, this. So options could be if you're selling, you know, shoes or handbags or, or I don't know, bars of soap or whatever. And you might have, you know, sizes, colors, smells, tastes, whatever down here. Okay, so we haven't got any. Hello, questions. guys. Oh, how are you doing? Sorry, Joe sorry, Barnes sorry. here. And thank you so much for joining me. Sorry, beginning of my... <laughs> webinar I better shut the sales page down as well before I start speaking on that as well the amount of times that I sit here and my other half sits next to me working and we're both um, going onto YouTube to grab videos or something and you suddenly get me in stereo across the room <laughs> very funny anyway um, free shipping because of course it's a digital product it doesn't matter we're putting it into the store category which is digital products and then here we can choose a classification okay this apparently helps with search engines. So if somebody's searching for your type of product, yeah, they're going to be able to, if you actually classify it correctly, then this is going to help with that. I'm going to classify it as services, frankly, because I can't find anything else um, that, you know, here we go, services, educational. There you go. Fabulous. Um, and that's what I'm going to, I'm going to save it as that, services and educational. Now, yes, apparently, you want to put definitely yes that you want this item featured on your store's home page. If no featured items are selected, your storefront will randomly select items to showcase on your storefront home page. So, yes, and apparently you can somehow, I'm not sure how, if you've got lots and lots of products, you can choose. Um, oh, there you go, of course, do you want this item featured? So, if you've got lots and lots of products, you can choose. If you've uploaded 10 products and you only want three featured, then some of them you'll click yes and some of them you'll click no. And then we want to enable, do you want this item available for sales? We do. So let's submit that and see what happens. Drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. Item, 2,000 fans in 27 days. Oh, here we go. Upload the image. Okay, so now we need to upload the image. So I'm just going to pause one second while I make sure I've got my image, the right, correct image. Right, I just wanted to make sure I knew where that was. So we're going to browse. Now, apparently, this needs to be a JPEG. The image needs to be 400 by 400, and apparently it's got to be under 1 meg. So I may actually end up um, resizing my image. So let's just go in and have a look. I told you this was, I'm doing this completely off the cuff with you guys right now. Okay, so let's go in and select my image. Okay, and I want the 2000 fans DVD image. So what's that? It's 320 by 240. So it's not hugely big. It says it's at least 400 pixels wide by 400 pixels tall. Hmm. So I think I might go and resize that. Let's chuck it in for now and see what happens. Okay, uh, the file you selected is not a JPEG image. Select one with a JPEG extension. 
Give me two seconds, guys. All right, so I've just saved it as a JPEG and slightly bigger. And so let's save and continue and see what happens there. Uploading the image. Thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Waiting. Think the item's image has been successfully uploaded. Return to your products or add a new item in your storefront. All right, so that means that my... Oh, it's disappeared. Oh, no. Shot Facebook's been doing that to me all day today. So let's go back to my main page. And let's go and see if it has worked. Shot now. And you know what's going to come up? It's going to come up and say, you haven't said that you want to um, make it go, you know, get it going. All right, it's going to start playing up now. Do you know what? I knew that I knew doing it with you guys would be a hell of an experiment. Let me pause. I'm not keeping you guys waiting while I get this resolved. All right, we're back up and running here. So my storefront is currently set to off. So we're ready to launch. We need to go to the store settings and we need to turn it on. So I forgot to do that, didn't I? So here we go. Let's turn on store. You ready to launch? You know, it'd be good if we could see it before we launched it, could, 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 wouldn't it? I'm sure there is a way, but anyway. The storefront is now open for business. So let's go and have a look. See if this baby works. Let's see if this baby works. Let's see if she flies. What film is that from? Um, all right, here we go. Welcome to our store on Facebook. Look at this 2,000 fans in 27 days, $47. There's the description. Oh, that's not too bad. That's pretty good. I might put a bit more on there about what's actually involved in the course, but that's okay. Add to cart. <laughs> Look at that. How exciting. I've got a store on my fan page. That's really, really very exciting. Okay. So, and oh, there's your categories. See? So, featured items, digital products. So, you might want to put, if you've got different niches, you might decide to... Um, change your categories to, you know, specific niches. So it might be, I don't know, you might have, if you're in internet marketing, for instance, and you've got Facebook products and you've got article marketing products and you've got, then you could do, you know, di different categories for that. Um, if you're in weight loss and you've got different diet products, you could do different categories for that, all that kind of stuff. So um, that's just great. That's just great. So you've got searches, but, you know, there's nothing to store, nothing to search, really. Um, and then when you go into your store, here is where you go back into your, that's the storefront dashboard, and that's where you can go back in and you can edit and also spend and add new products and all that kind of stuff. There we go, guys. Very, very exciting. That is how to set up a storefront on your Facebook fan page. So I do hope that that has been of use to you guys today, and, uh, and I look forward to, uh, to another tip very, very soon. All right, guys, thanks very much. Take care. Speak soon. Bye-bye.